Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. So in today's video, we got a 2022 Ford Lightning. Um, it's the first Ford Lightning we've had in our shop. Um, I've never had a chance to work on any of these trucks before. And in this video, we're gonna be going over how to install paint protection film on this lower steel bumper. Now these pickup trucks that have these painted steel bumpers, they chip super easily. So it is super, super important to get paint protection film installed on them. So I'm gonna take you through this and show you how I would go about installing this bumper. And uh, hopefully I don't screw up because I've never done one before. Okay, so I got the bumper sprayed down for a slip solution. Got my pattern right here. And I'm just gonna take my squeegee, squeegee a dry spot. Gonna stick the film to the dry spot there and slowly back roll the film onto the bumper. I don't think that could have been back rolled any better. So, right now, all I'm doing is pulling the film back and Spraying slip solution on the back side of the adhesive as well as onto the bumper itself. So, like any bumper installation that you're going to do, you have your reference points where you start. So, I'm going to start in the middle. I'm gonna start by getting these two sensors in place. So I got my slip solution behind there. The film's basically falling into place just like that. Now I'm just gonna pull the film back. Get my tack solution in behind there. And I'm gonna line that sensor up. This black plastic piece kind of gets in the way of the squeegee there, so you kind of have to get creative with making sure that that area is down. Now, I'm gonna come back over here. Light stretch to get this into place. squeegee that down there we go so that's all down and in place now what I want to do is I'm going to make sure the film right over here is even up along the top of the bumper along this plastic back here so that looks like it is now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my squeegee at an angle and I'm gonna go right on this body line right here. I'm just gonna go back and forth. And then I got that top section down. Now I'll get this bottom section down as well. And what I'm gonna do is just take and peel this back. Just get a little bit of tack solution in there. Just to get that permanently locked into place. A couple insurance passes with the squeegee to make sure there's no moisture left behind on that body line. Okay, now we'll start working over towards the driver's side. So just spraying more slip solution over the top of the film. And I'm gonna pull the film back, get more slip solution behind it as well too. There we go. 
Now from that sensor, I'm gonna get this sensor lined up. Just very lightly with the squeegee, just gonna squeegee the film down right around that sensor, just like so. And I'm gonna get this corner down as well next. That'll be my next reference point. go. Now I'm going to get everything down from this sensor to this sensor. So that's going to require me to move the film uh, up a little bit and get this all in place. So I got a little bit of tack solution in there. And once it looks like it's in place in the right spot, all I'm going to do is come right along this body line here with the squeegee that down. There we go. You can see the film starting to pop up a little bit here. I have no tack solution underneath there. It's just slip solution. So what I'm going to do is just introduce a bit of tack solution there and get that area permanently knocked down. Now one thing these rounded corners, you can see all this film, how it's built up there. And as soon as I push it down, it's created some fingers. Now, if I go ahead and just squeegee those fingers down straight on, it just pops up and moves the fingers outwards. Now, in a situation like this, what you're gonna wanna do is get your tack solution in there. I'm gonna start right over here on this body line, even though I have already gotten it down. I got my squeegee angled away and all I'm doing is sawing those fingers down, going back and forth, just like so. And those fingers will not pop up. And then just coming over it with a little bit of an insurance pass with the squeegee. Each time I go more and more pressure to ensure that that film is down and not gonna come up. Now, we'll go and move over it. Gotta get more slip solution under the film. It started to dry itself out. Now you can see how much I have to stretch the film to get this sensor into place and to get this wrapped edge into place. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna pre-stretch it. I'm just gonna lean into it. I'm gonna stretch a little bit past just to kind of get the film used to being in that spot. I'm gonna let go really quickly. I'm gonna get some tack solution behind the film and onto the bumper. Now we're gonna work, we're gonna work this film into place. So there is quite a bit of uh, elbow grease that needs to go into getting this down. But as you can see, the tack solution is now holding it into place where I can come along with the squeegee and squeegee this all down. There we go. Now, Everything else over here falls into place really nicely. What I'm gonna do, is just get more slip solution in here. Get more slip solution over here as well too. Now you see all these all these fingers over here, that comes from stretching. Well, not really fingers, but you can see that the film was stretched quite a bit here. 
Now, if I were to just squeegee this down right now, I would have a bit of an adhesive line right over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back. I'm actually gonna pull the film back a little bit further and that's gonna help get rid of that adhesive line. And I'm just gonna get the film just to lay down by hand first before I start squeegeeing it down. So just like so, I'm gonna come along this top body line over here. Always wanna make sure you're overlapping your squeegee strokes, the way you're not leaving any moisture behind. Now, this area over here, it's basically laid down into place. All I'm gonna do, just spray tax solution in there, pull the film back. And get that to lay down. Now, what I'm gonna do is same thing that I did over here on this corner is I'm gonna take my squeegee just at an angle. I should've got some moisture right there I have to take care of first before I can do anything else. So I'm just gonna come along just like that. Now I went and just about creased the film. So I'm just gonna peel the film back and just re-squeegee it. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna move over a little bit and get some tack solution in right here. And with these corners as well too, you can see how we got some fingers building up here. Like we got four fingers. I'm just gonna take and saw them down. like that. Now I got little fingers up on top here that need to be squeegeed down and that's fine. Those little fingers what I'm going to do is once I'm done the installation and I start post heating I can get those to lie down perfectly fine. Now if you want to move around over here you can see how we got this flap over here where the film uh, it's supposed to wrap around. Th what this is going to do is it's going to provide some protection on the inside of the bumper against stones and road debris that may get kicked up from the tires. So I'm just going to take, get a good healthy amount of tack solution in there. Just with my thumb, I'm going to get the film to lay down around that corner. Just like so. Now this needs a little bit more tack solution. Now I can come along with the squeegee, I'm gonna squeegee it at an angle, back and forth, kind of saw that film down into place. There we go. That's good. A couple little bit of film is still popping up over there. There's a lot of there's a lot going on with the corner there, but that will get down when I take a heat gun to it later. So we'll go over to the passenger side and we'll start getting that done. Okay, we're over here on the passenger side. As you can see, the film has started to bond to the vehicle. All I'm gonna do is pull the film back, start soaking the adhesive with my slip solution. There we go. So the, adhe the adhesive is soaped up with uh, slip solution. 
We got a good amount of slip solution on the top of the film as well. Now, same thing we did on the, on the driver's side. We're gonna get this sensor lined up. Just gonna spray some tack in there. Just gonna get this lined up. There we go. Come around there just like that. Nice. I'll get this corner down. Now what I'm going to do is pull the film back. So when you have a corner like this, where you got this, this bit of a body line right here, and it's right on that corner, um, what I like to do is get tack solution in behind there, because you can see how the film's kind of just falling into place. Now to get it to permanently fall or to stay in place, I'm just going to take my squeegee and hit that down at an angle, just like that, just to get that down. Now we'll come up over here, same thing. I'll make sure the film's not stuck together there. Just gonna get tack solution in there. There we go. Just getting that body line down. Now I'm gonna come back over here just like this. And I'm just gonna take the squeegee, kind of prop the film back just so I can get tack solution in there. And squeegee that down at an angle. Now, same thing I did on the driver's side, squeegee back and forth. Now, all I'm doing, sawing this down at an angle, spreading all that film out. So anytime you have fingers like that, you just got too much film in an area and it can't lay down properly. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pull it back. Got a bit of contamination behind there that I need to get out. And got it. But also one thing up over here, when I lay the film down, it goes right up against this, this black plastic piece here. So what I'm gonna do actually is start spraying everything down with slip solution again. And I'm gonna start pulling the film back. That just tells me I'm a little bit too high up there. So, getting my tax solution underneath here. more tack solution in behind here. Just taking those fingers down at an angle. It's common for them to want to pop up, but you know later on when I come along with the heat gun, I'm gonna be able to get those to stay down. So, there we 
go. We're gonna move on right now. After we're done the installation, we'll go over these areas just to show how everything ended up getting into place. Okay, so I just got the film into place. Tack Solution's gonna hold it there for a little bit. Got that squeegee down. Just gonna pull the film back right here. Get that stretched out and get that laid into place. Come right around that sensor. Make sure that the film is down. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do here, same thing I did on the other side, get slip solution in behind the film. Now, I'm just gonna get tack solution in over on the top. And I'm gonna work this body line, get that body line down. Okay, now come along over here and we get everything else down. Some tack solution underneath here. Get that film down in that corner. Now, same thing. Just going to take and saw these fingers down. That's all down. Now we're just gonna do this. We're gonna do this flap over here. There we go. I'm just gonna take my thumb, run my thumb right along that edge. There we go. Get that to lay down. This top part here is always a little bit difficult to get down. I shouldn't say always, this is the first time I've done one of these, but it's proved to be difficult on the other side. Okay, there we go. So right now, bumper is completely installed. Um, I have a bit of moisture right here. I'm just gonna hit that out. So yeah, right now, Bumper is completely installed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rag and a heat gun. I'm going to go along and post heat everything. And then afterwards we'll do a, a close up of what this installation looks like. So um, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. We're now onto the finishing stages. Okay, so I'm onto the post heating stage. So I got my heat gun over here. I don't know what temperature it's going to be at. There's three settings. It's a Mastercraft. It's from Canadian Tire in Canada. If you're not in Canada, I'm sure you can buy something like this at AutoZone or whatever auto parts store is near you. But I'm gonna put it on the second setting. So that's kind of medium heat. And I'm gonna take uh, just a towel and it is a little bit wet. So I got these fingers up here. All I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna go along, press them down, to kind of push that moisture out. It's gonna so when I push that moisture out, this towel is gonna to soak that moisture up. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of heat. I just go back and forth. You never wanna leave the, uh, you never wanna leave the heat gun just sitting in one spot. If it's gonna sit in one spot, it won't take long and then you will start to damage the film. So, So 
basically what I'm doing is I'm just going along, putting pretty good pressure on my thumb and then following it up with the heat gun just to make sure that the film is down and it's not gonna be lifting up. So I'm only get, gonna show you guys the driver's side of this, but I like to go around all of my edges just with the rag, follow it up with the heat gun. I'm not gonna worry about post heating anything over here because the slip solution's already gone and the, the adhesive has already started to bond to the vehicle. So there's really nothing to post heat here. It's just more so the edges. Come along. So this corner over here, there was lots of fingers that were built up. Same with down over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put more heat in this area right over here. Because I don't want this area to pop up. If there is gonna be an area that would pop, it would be this area. I might even just turn it up to high heat. Just go back and forth nice and quick. And then I'm just gonna go back to regular heat for everything else. I'll come along, kind of just get my fingernail down in that groove, make sure that film is down. There we go, just like that. And now we'll start moving over to the passenger side.